class. Today we're going to learn how to make enchilada casserole. Enchilada casserole is a dish that we make and serve in the cafe and it's very popular um, and often students have asked me, how do you make it? So uh, that's what we're going to make today. I have my hair pulled back and I wash my hands. So let's get started. First thing uh, we're going to do is gather up our ingredients. Um, I need a can of olives. Gonna need cheese, an onion. Uh, recipe calls for a yellow onion, but I didn't have any, so the red onion will work. Um, I have a can of um, El Pato sauce, which is a spicy tomato sauce. Some green onions, pound of ground beef. and uh, two ears of corn I got, um, and the tortillas. All right, let's get going. We are going to end up making the casserole in the oven. The meat will be cooked on the stove. So we're gonna use both the stove and the oven to make the casserole. I like a hot oven, uh, it's about 375 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven on bake for 375 degrees. So the can opener opens up and there is a wheel and a blade. So wheel has a little gear on it and that gear is gonna attach to the bottom of our uh, can lid. There's like a little lip on the, the edge of the can. It's gonna attach right there. Um, that's going to hold down the bottom and the blade is going to press, but I need to press down pretty hard at first. So I poke a hole into the can. Then I got to hold it firmly and with the other hand, I'm going to turn. So I've opened my can and I'm going to need to pour the El Pato sauce into the measuring cup. Um, my recipe is going to require one three, third fourths cup of El Pato sauce. So now I've opened the can, but the can lid's still on there and the edges of the can are very sharp. So you have to be very careful when you remove the lid because you can cut yourself. So I'm very careful to hold the can lid so I do not touch uh, the edge. The edge is sharp and I can cut myself. So I gotta be very careful, um, make sure it's thrown away. If you're using a can opener and it the lid doesn't come off all the way, you just need to go back over it, make sure it's all the way off uh, before you remove it. Don't try to get a knife and jam it, and force it off because that's dangerous. So when I'm done with the can opener, when I'm done with the can opener, I need to uh, wash it um, because again, it, once it's used, it needs to be cleaned and sanitized. So I'm gonna pour the El Pato sauce into the measuring cup. Okay, I'm going to lean down, just take a look make sure that I have it exactly on that line, not above or below it, but exactly on the one and three fourths cup line. So I've got some left over in the can and I can use that for something else. It's not really safe to store food that way in a can once it's open. So we need to pour the remainder of our ingredient into a container. I'm gonna put a lid on it make sure it's on secure, and then it can be stored into the refrigerator. So now I have my can of olives open. I'm going to use this little strainer. I'm just gonna use it to get the liquid to go into the strainer and down the drain. I'm not gonna need to save it. Um, all the olives are gonna go into the casserole today. 
do slice the olives. I like to hold it this way with two fingers, get a very small knife, and I'm just gonna make slices in between the olives. So I get the large olives, they're easier to work with, and then I just make about two slices. So my recipe calls for fresh corn. Um, I prefer the fresh corn. I like the flavor of it. You can use canned corn because it is um, a little bit of work. So we have to, the first step is we're gonna pull the ears, which is the outer leaves out of the corn. Like so. So those are gonna be pulled off and then we have to remove uh, the strings. snap them in half it's much easier and then you have um, pieces that you can cut the corn off the sides so to cut the corns off the side make sure you have a sharp knife a chef knife is a, a good type of knife and that you can do this to keep your fingers out of the way so you're going to move your fingers to one side and you're going to just trim the corn off of the other side I like to put my fingers at the top of the corn and kind of press down to hold it firmly so it doesn't go sliding and I cut myself and then it shouldn't be hard to cut the corn if you're if it's too hard to cut or you need force then you're probably cutting into the cob and not just the corn so just the outside of the corn and it should cut pretty easily so this does take a little practice and throw the corn cob away and then what I have left is the fresh corn. So then I need uh, green onions and those are going to be sliced. I like to slice them in little small pieces but I hold the whole um, bunch of green onions so I can slice them all at one time. So I'm going to hold them at the end make little slices on the green onions probably the smaller the better I'm trying to make as small as I can so when I'm cutting I curl my fingers underneath so that they're not it sticking out. So I make sure my fingers aren't sticking out so I don't accidentally cut my fingers. Make sure that my hand that's cutting is firm on the knife. And then I use a kind of a rolling motion. small little pieces of green onions. So this is my cheese grater. I'm gonna use the large rolls. I'm gonna set it down firmly. I'm gonna get a nice good grasp of the cheese and then I'm just gonna slowly press down and repeat. I'm going to stop because I see that the cheese grater is starting to get full and then I'm going to take the cheese that I grated and put it in the bowl. So now I have to peel, slice, and dice the onion. So I'm going to take some of the outer peelings off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and trim off both ends. of the onion and then I'm going to cut it in half. Once I cut it in half, I just keep, it's very easy. 
after you cut it in half, you just kind of remove the outer layout layer. So it's much easier to peel than trying to peel the onion when it's whole. So I'm just gonna peel this off. When I um, dice an onion, first thing I'm gonna do is slice it. Um, I'm gonna slice it in thin pieces. So if you're cutting onions and your eyes start to water, just uh, step away from them for a bit um, to breathe in some fresh air and then come right back. Should be fine. So now I'm going to use my frying pan. Um, I'm going to add some oil to it. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan so my onions don't stick. Got it a little bit like this. About one tablespoon. So I'm going to turn it on to medium to medium high heat, let it warm up. Then I'm going to add the onions and we're going to let the meat cook. Uh, and then we can continue on and I'll show you um, how to slice the tortillas. We're going to cut those into pieces and we're going to use those to make our casserole. So I'm just going to brown my onions, stir them a little bit. Once my onions are soft, then I'm going to add, add in my hamburger, also known as ground beef, which is delicious. So once I'm certain that I really check carefully and all the meat is thoroughly cooked, um, then I'm going to add my alfato sauce and remove from the heat and set it aside. sauce, mix it in, and set aside. So this is kind of a big stack to cut, so I'm just going to do half at one time. I'm going to take, set it down, take the knife, and put my hand on top and just press down. Now those are cut in half. Then I'm going to take each half and cut it in half again, leaving me pieces. Tortilla, about the size of a tortilla chip. So I have a medium sized casserole pan. I'm going to spray the can first with a cooking spray because I don't want my casserole to stick. First layer is going to be layering the bottom of the pan with the tortillas. They can overlap a little bit, but I need to cover up the bottom. The tortillas on the bottom, and then I can add uh, my meat sauce. So I'm going to need to use about one third of the meat sauce. Everything I need to divide into thirds because I need to make three layers. So I've added my uh, layer of meat sauce and then I'm going to add cheese and then my toppings. So this is my first layer and then so I put the tortillas right on top of the first layer and then I'm just going to repeat. So I have my second layer and just enough room left over uh, for the top layer. On the top layer I'm going to try to use up all of my ingredients. There it is all done and now I'm going to bake it in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. Out of the oven. Now 
my oven mitts on. Make sure to turn the oven off. And there it is. So I'm going to let it cool and then I can slice it. 